to <laughs> have to regulate traffic here. So why this topic? Well, regrettably, in Kosovo, Arab communities are very much marginalized, especially women face problems in uh, accessing the health, and uh, therefore this the research project uh, tackled this issue. So the lack of access uh, to among Arab women to internet or healthcare services. Uh, the goals of this uh, research were to identify what are the reasons for the lack of access to internet or healthcare services. Uh, what is the role of government and sort of in implementing and drafting policies to help them, and also the role of civil society actors in improving the uh, current situation. Uh, but uh, in order to better understand the problem, I will provide brief information about uh, Roma in the world and also in Kosovo. So, uh, Roma community in the world have been living uh, for a thousand of years in the Europe. Uh, have been living for a thousand of years. And they are mostly concentrated in Central and Southeast Europe. Uh, the, even though data regarding the number of that, it is estimated that uh, in Europe there are around 10 million uh, Roma community. But their history, unfortunately, is filled with discrimination throughout time, especially because of their skin color, their tradition, their lifestyle, and the, uh, their, uh, the economic condition. So, uh, health, uh, so this means that the Arab community face many challenges throughout their life and health is uh, one of, among the many challenges faced by them. And this is what I'm going to do. Uh, this is what I'm going to uh, the, According to the definition of a World Health Organization, uh, health is, not, is a complete state of a physical, mental and social well-being, and not merely uh, just the uh, absence of a disease. Uh, therefore, uh, the rights to enjoy the highest standards of health are among the fundamental human rights and is protected by many international instruments. However, in Europe there are many minorities, such as Roma community, who face challenges in accessing health care. Uh, therefore, Roma community are found to have very poor health conditions compared to the uh, majority of population in which they live. And women in this regard are most endangered because uh, the diseases most common within this community are spread uh, due to uh, poor living conditions. And since women are the ones who spend most of their time at home, uh, their health is endangered and therefore they are in you know, more need of utilizing health uh, services. Uh, but the factors that uh, affect this problem are uh, various and therefore I analyze each of them. Uh, education status is uh, one among uh, the factors. Uh, Roma community in general have a um, higher level of literacy or very low level of education. Uh, this is especially a concern among, uh, among Roma women because uh, traditionally they get married at a very young age and therefore they are obliged to drop out of schools sometimes without finishing even the mandatory education. And uh, this affects their well-being because they lack the critical thinking uh, to reflect on the importance of health, especially during their pregnancy. Uh, also, the low level of education influences their, their employment status because they have uh, generally the employment, the low le the level of education determines the employment. This means that when they are uh, not educated, it is very hard for them to uh, get jobs. And so this means that they live in poverty and the level of income for their families are really low. 
sometimes this uh, imposes a, a, a barrier for them to access health care or to, uh, to cover the health, uh, the expenses related to health care. Uh, the living conditions also are very poor among the uh, Roma community. They usually uh, live in the remote areas which are isolated from the rest of the society and therefore sometimes physical distance from the parts where they live to the services where uh, different services are provided in the urban areas it imposes a barrier for them to access healthcare uh, The situation of uh, Roma community in Kosovo is uh, basically the same as that in a majority of uh, Roma living in the world uh, but in uh, Kosovo actually Roma Ashkali and Egyptian communities uh, identify themselves as belonging to three different groups uh, and as such are recognized by Kosovo legal framework and international and uh, local organizations. However, because they uh, usually face the same socioeconomic problems, they are addressed together. And in, in this research, I address the three communities as Rai community. Uh, Rai community have been living in Kosovo for many years now, and the data regarding their number lags, but according to, to the estimation of UNHCR, there are around 34,000 uh, persons, persons of Rai community living in Kosovo. As we can see from the graph, majority of them are concentrated in Jakova, Kushkosova, Prizren, Kenya, and Teresa municipality. Other municipalities have also uh, Rai communities living there, but in a lower percentage. Uh, the health status of uh, Rai community in Kosovo is, uh, is poor also. Uh, this is mostly as a result of their uh, lack of awareness of the importance of health and also the lack of hygiene. As I said earlier, the conditions, living conditions in which uh, these communities live up are very poor and women especially are engaged in this regard. And this is uh, a concern especially for one, for a pregnant woman who spent most of their time at home. Uh, education status also is a problem among the community in, in Kosovo because due to the high drop, uh, uh, high uh, dropouts of school, uh, the level of illiteracy is quite high among the women and uh, therefore they lack the critical thinking uh, about the importance of health and also the low level of education is influencing their employment and socioeconomic condition because they, uh, they have um, challenges in finding jobs or they uh, work informal jobs such as collecting cash or rely on social assistance however the income generated by these two are not enough as, uh, so they can, offer, uh, they can cover the expenses related to health care uh, this also influences the poverty in which they live. So poverty is a play phenomenon of the life of the community uh, because of the low level of income they, uh, they uh, generate uh, with their money. Uh, so as we can see from this graph, an employment rate by ethnicity, we see that Egyptian, Ashkali, and Roma are the three communities uh, having the highest unemployment uh, percentage among uh, compared to other groups that live in. So considering that there are many problems that uh, Roma Arab communities face in Kosovo and these problems may affect the uh, access to antenatal health care among the women of these communities, um, this research tried to tackle this issue and, uh, and find out the reasons about the lack of access to antenatal health services among the women. And the methodology or this problem was examined through secondary and primary research. The secondary research was basically used to better understand the situation and also help in designing the, the survey and interview questions, whereas final research consisted of quantity, quantitative and qualitative data. Qualitative data included interviews with the Ministry of Health, uh, two local NGOs, and the uh, gynecology and obstetrics uh, clinic in a uh, university clinical center of Kosovo. Whereas quantitative data included the survey with uh, 30 Rai women from 20 uh, participants were from the municipality of Kushkosova and 20, uh, 10 of them were from the municipality of Petra. The selection uh, criteria, the uh, selection methods for participants were random sampling and the surveys were conducted by going door to door to, door to the neighborhoods of these communities. Uh, after gathering the results, uh, the main findings uh, were suggested that the factors that caused the problem, so the lack of access to antenatal health care, health services among the women are multiple and are interlinked. Uh, low level of education is the main factor which triggers afterwards many uh, other problems. Uh, 
such as financial constraints, uh, epistemological constraints, spatial constraints, and temporal constraints. So to better understand this, we can see that the education status or uh, the level of education among Arab women who were interviewed is quite low. Uh, as we can see from the graph, seven of them answered that they had no education at all, were illiterate, and seven of them said that they were illiterate but had didn't complete any uh, not one year of uh, education. This means that 14 out of 30, or in percentage, 46 percent of 46 percent of them were had no education. Whereas only one of them uh, the, uh, said that she was she had 13 years or more of education, and this is uh, very concerning because the low level, level of education is triggering other problems such as low family income and lack of awareness of the importance of health. So as level of education, as I said, suggests that the unemployment level among low level of education suggests that unemployment level among these women would be high. And this is exactly what the results are supported because from the uh, women participants in this project, 18% of that were housewives. Only one of them was uh, employed in the public sector, whereas four of them were, were self-employed. However, even if, when these women get employed, uh, they uh, work low-paid job positions. So the high unemployment rate or, and working in a low-paid job position means their level of income is low. So sometimes they, uh, it is difficult for them to cover the expenses related to health care. Also, the family uh, income for these uh, women were quite low. Uh, 22 out of 30 women had said that uh, had a monthly family income of less than 120 euros, whereas four, uh, four of them said that their family income were 50 euros or less. And considering that the average income for uh, fam average family income for Kosovo is around 400, this means that these families have uh, challenges and struggle in overcoming the most basic expenses. And sometimes rare women are discouraged to go to visit the doctors so they can avoid the incurring of costs related to healthcare. Uh, also, the results suggest that there are other reasons uh, that uh, cause the problem. Uh, from uh, the list of personal reasons, a majority of them, or 13 out of 30, uh, said uh, listed as the uh, do not see it necessary. So the visiting to the doctor during their pregnancy was not necessary for them, and this comes mostly as a result of their low level, level of education. And another reason identified was that they do not trust the staff. And this comes uh, mostly because of the discrimination uh, based on ethnicity. This, was, uh, this problem was also identified from the interviews that I did with the, uh, with the uh, representatives of the two NGOs. They said that uh, these women especially they face double discrimination because they are women and because they are minority. And sometimes they, they, they are not provided the health services uh, when they go to, uh, to health care facilities. Uh, other, another inter interesting reason is because they do not have anyone to go with. Uh, men of the family, most of the time, they work uh, outside their home to secure the income for, the, for their families. And women of these communities being much dependent on their husbands, uh, they sometimes do, cannot go to the doctor because they, don't, uh, they do not have their husbands so, uh, to accompany them. Uh, other reasons I can identify are family reasons. Uh, so as we can see here, uh, 23 of them said that uh, the financial constraint or inability to afford health services is uh, one of them. And also uh, taking care of ch their children or uh, other members of the family, uh, who most of the time are so. So uh, this means that the women of these communities, uh, and when they get married, they take over the role of, of the housewives, and they are expected to take care of their uh, the family of the uh, the members of their family. So they sometimes put the care of them, of the family members, above the care of their own health. And from the cultural reason, it was identified that uh, they uh, they uh, do not they put housework as a priority. Eight of them said that they put housework as a priority, uh, so they have to like finish the daily work and then take care of themselves. And another reason was that uh, they do not they will uh, use international health services only when the, uh, when it is really necessary, like when they cannot uh, get out of bed to perform daily work. So as we can see, 
uh, from these cultural reasons, we can see that in the, it is not in their culture and in their habits for a Maya woman to perform regular visits to the doctor during their pregnancy. And this is why the results uh, suggested that uh, most of the time these women, when they, uh, when they uh, visit the doctor, they do it in later months during pregnancy, uh, when their delivery time approaches, or do not visit, there are even worse cases when they do not visit the doctor at all during their pregnancy. And as we can see from the table here, 11 out of 19, or 36% uh, of interviewed women said that uh, they, do not, they did not consult any healthcare professional during their last pregnancy. Whereas 19 of them said that they did consult someone, 11 consulted with a gynecologist, and 8 with a family doctor. And those who never consulted uh, anyone during their pregnancy deliver they should their children at home. And this is uh, very uh, problematic because then their children are not registered, they do not have birth certificates, and they cannot uh, later have identity cards to enjoy the social benefits provided by the state. Uh, the figure here explains, or I summarized here, the, the most important factors that impede the access to antenatal health care ser health services among the women. And the most important uh, factor is epistemological constraints or a low level of education because this is triggering afterwards other problems. Because low level of education influences the uh, decision of Ra women not to take care of their health and not to go to visit to the doctors. Also low level of education means that they, they, uh, they are unemployed and also uh, so they do not have a sufficient financial means to afford the health services uh, provided. Even though health services are provided uh, for free, uh, they are required to do additional examinations, purchase drugs, and uh, all these have to be paid by the patients, which in this case cannot be afforded by our women. And also, a uh, low level of education means that they uh, put other priorities uh, before their, uh, above their own health, such as taking care of the family, or uh, performing everyday household duties, and so on. And in addition to this, uh, they, uh, these families live in remote areas, in which uh, in remote areas which most of the time are isolated, and the service, some of the services provided in urban areas uh, are uh, in the in a physical distance of, from their dwellings. Uh, therefore, they sometimes have to pay for the transportation costs to go to the healthcare facilities, which uh, usually impose, imposes a barrier for them as they cannot cover. Uh, considering so that uh, there is an under usage of antenatal health services among uh, women, uh, it means that uh, some much should be done in order to improve the situation. So uh, I put here two uh, top uh, recommendations, uh, which is uh, one is the Ministry of Health and also uh, NGOs who work with uh, these communities should provide provide health education awareness lectures and trainings in order to, uh, to uh, raise the awareness to these women about the importance of their health. This is very important because if these uh, lectures and trainings are uh, completed successfully, this would help them understand that uh, if they enjoy a better antenatal health, the likelihood of giving birth, uh, to a healthy, for giving birth to a healthy child increases uh, dramatically. And uh, this means that uh, the, the health issues that they most of the time um, are dealt with would be eliminated. And also, University Clinical Center in of Kosovo should provide mobile clinics to the remote neighborhoods of Raya community women. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the physical distance sometimes imposes a barrier for them to access to the healthcare facilities. And if, uh, if these mobile clinics would be provided to them, uh, it would help them to overcome this barrier. And also, uh, it would a no, uh, frequent nurse visit would make it a, a, a habit to these women to perform regular visits to the doctors and see the importance of uh, taking care of their health during pregnancy. Uh, so, in conclusion, as we saw, the main factors that uh, that caused the lack of access to antenatal health services among Romanian and Egyptian women in Kosovo are interlinked and multiple. So much should be done in order to improve the situation. But if we look at it, if we tackle one problem, this would help maybe in eliminating other problems that are triggered afterwards. Uh, so uh, in order to help them, uh, these are the recommendations, and also it is really important to, uh, to uh, help them uh, overcoming these problems, because if they enjoy a better internet health, it is beneficial not only for them, the right women themselves or the community, but 
also from the society as a whole. So that was it for me. Thank you very much. Wow, so I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time.